Patty Boyd was described as the great love of your life. True? Um, I don't know, Ed. I don't know, because I don't know if I was capable of knowing what love was. Eric Clapton's life and career are as legendary as they are tumultuous, marked by soaring musical achievements intertwined with deeply personal struggles. Beyond his incredible guitar playing and soulful vocals, Clapton's journey has been profoundly shaped by his relationships, marital issues, and publicized affairs. Join us as we explore his life and career, his relationships, and his personal struggles. Rise to Fame Eric Clapton's rise to fame was marked by his pivotal role in forming the band Cream in 1966. Alongside drummer Ginger Baker and bassist Jack Bruce, Clapton found a collaborative environment that pushed the boundaries of rock music. Cream's innovative blend of rock, blues, and jazz set them apart from their contemporaries, leading to massive commercial success and critical acclaim. Their debut album, Fresh Cream, released in 1966, showcased Clapton's extraordinary guitar skills and the band's unique sound. Hits like Sunshine of Your Life and White Room not only topped charts but also became anthems of the era, solidifying their place in rock history. But the internal dynamics of Cream were fraught with tension. Clapton often found himself caught between the fiery personalities of Baker and Bruce, whose frequent clashes made the band's existence tumultuous. Reflecting on the period, Clapton once said, Cream was a perfect example of how not to be in a band. It was a constant battle. The relentless touring and recording schedules, coupled with personal differences, eventually led to the band's breakup in 1968 after just two years together. Following Cream's disbandment, Clapton joined forces with Steve Winwood, Ginger Baker, and Rick Gretsch to form Blind Faith in 1969. Dubbed Rock's first supergroup, Blind Faith generated immense anticipation. The self-titled album was a commercial success, driven by tracks like Can't Find My Way Home and Presence of the Lord. But the pressures of high expectations and the members' varying musical directions led to Blind Faith's disillusion after only one album and a brief tour. Clapton later admitted the supergroup was formed too hastily, saying, We were just too fragile to deal with the pressures of being a supergroup. Clapton's transition to a solo career began in earnest with the release of his self-titled debut album in 1970. The album featured the hit single After Midnight, which showcased a more laid-back and personal style. This period also saw Clapton's collaboration with the American band Delaney and Bonnie and Friends, which influenced his musical direction significantly. His work with Delaney Bramlett helped him develop his singing and songwriting abilities, making a shift from his previous roles as primarily a guitarist. Clapton's subsequent solo albums, including 461 Ocean Boulevard and Slow Hand, produced timeless classics like Layla and Wonderful Tonight. As his solo career flourished, his personal struggles came to the forefront. His relationship with Patty Boyd, who inspired Layla, became a public spectacle. More on that in a moment. Relationships and Marriages Eric Clapton's personal life has been as up and down as his professional career, marked by high-profile relationships and marriages that often made headlines. One of his most famous romantic entanglements was with model Patty Boyd, whom he met in the late 1960s while she was still married to George Harrison of the Beatles. Clapton's infatuation with Boyd was intense and well-documented, culminating in his heartfelt declaration of love in the iconic song Layla. The song's lyrics, inspired by a Persian love story, resonated deeply with Clapton's unrequited love for Boyd, capturing the anguish and passion of his emotions. Despite his heartfelt plea, Boyd initially remained loyal to Harrison, leading to a period of unrequited love and inner turmoil for Clapton. His pursuit of Patty Boyd continued, and eventually their relationship developed after Boyd's marriage to Harrison ended in divorce in 1977. Clapton and Boyd married in 79 amidst considerable media attention and public interest. Their union was initially seen as a triumph of Clapton's enduring love and persistence, immortalized by the hit song Wonderful Tonight, written for Boyd. But behind the scenes, Clapton's struggles with alcoholism and substance abuse strained their marriage. Boyd's memoirs and interviews later revealed the tumultuous nature of their relationship, citing Clapton's infidelities and erratic behavior as significant challenges they faced. 
One of the most infamous episodes of Clapton's personal life occurred during his marriage to Boyd. In the early 80s, he embarked on an affair with Italian actress Lori Del Santo, which resulted in the birth of their son, Connor. The revelation of Connor's paternity and the public fallout strained Clapton's marriage to Boyd even further, leading to their eventual divorce in 1988. The emotional turmoil surrounding Connor's birth and the subsequent tragic death of the four-year-old Connor in 1991 had a profound impact on Clapton. The aftermath of Connor's death also prompted Clapton to reassess his priorities and seek solace in his music. His subsequent album, Unplugged, released in 1992, featured an acoustic rendition of Tears in Heaven that resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. The song's introspective lyrics and haunting melody reflected Clapton's journey through grief and healing, earning him critical acclaim and renewed respect as both a musician and a father. Throughout his career, he has been open about the impact of Connor's death on his life and music, describing it as a transformative experience that shaped his later years. He's spoken about the enduring pain of losing his son and the cathartic process of channeling his emotions into art. His current wife is Malia McHenry, whom he married in 2002. Malia, who's American, met Clapton while working at a record company in Columbus, Ohio. Their relationship blossomed, leading to a private and intimate wedding ceremony held in January 2002. Since then, Malia has largely remained out of the public eye, preferring to maintain a low profile despite her husband's fame. Known for her supportive presence alongside Clapton at various events and appearances, Malia continues to be a steadfast companion in Clapton's life. He once talked in an interview about what his wife gives him for Christmas. Almost every Christmas, my wife Malia gives me a guitar. And she sometimes, she doesn't always know what to give me, so she, she asks. Clapton's Reflections and Regrets Eric Clapton has been candid in his reflection on his personal life, acknowledging his mistakes and the profound impact they've had on him. Regarding his affairs and marriages, he's expressed deep regrets and remorse for the pain he caused to those closest to him, particularly Patty Boyd and his children. In his autobiography and various interviews, Clapton has described his behavior during those years as reckless and self-destructive, fueled by addiction and a sense of personal inadequacy. He once reflected, quote, I was so subconsciously guilt-ridden about Patty that I didn't even allow myself to think about it. His journey through addiction and personal turmoil led him to confront his own flaws and seek redemption. His experiences with substance abuse, which he struggled with for decades, became intertwined with his personal relationships and ultimately contributed to the breakdown of his marriages. He's been vocal about the role of therapy and recovery in helping him address the underlying issues that fueled his destructive behaviors. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Eric Clapton song? Let us know in the comments section below.